mystery death of Putin general. He was set to become key witness in Kremlin corruption scandal. A Putin army general seen to be a key witness in a major corruption scandal engulfing the Russian Defense Ministry has died suddenly, according to the Mirror Media outlet. It is noted that Magomed Handayev, 61, was head of the State Expertise Directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense. He was subordinate to Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov, 48, who was dramatically arrested on suspicion of a £9 million corruption scheme and remains in custody. Khandayev was seen as a key witness in a corruption scandal shrouding the Russian Defense Ministry amid Putin's illegal war against Ukraine. His body was flown to Moscow to his home region of Dagestan for burial, according to reports. The cause of Khandayev's death has not been specified. According to Russian media, Khandayev has a close connection with high-ranking officials whose activities have recently attracted the attention of law enforcement agencies. It added, his death raises questions especially against the backdrop of recent cleanups among senior leaders of the Ministry of Defense related to corruption scandals. The death of the general will certainly become a convenient occasion for those who seek to cover up the traces of corruption schemes in the Ministry of Defense. Now that Handayev, who potentially has important information, can no longer testify, many cases may be closed or reconsidered thereby avoiding further investigations and possible charges against high-ranking officials. Khandayev now joins an array of unexplained deaths of leading Russian figures since the start of the war against Ukraine. Previously, he had served as General Director of the Main Directorate of Special Construction. He was one of the influential figures in the construction of Ministry of Defense facilities throughout the country, said the source. The cause of Khandayev's death has not been specified. His body was flown to Moscow to his home region of Dagestan for burial, according to reports. He held a string of state honors, including the Order of Alexander Nevsky. In the eastern direction, the loss of the enemy in three months reached about 82,000 people. This was reported by the spokesman of the Kortitsia military unit, Nazar Volishin, on the air of the Telethon. Over 24,000 in April, over 25,000 in May, and almost 32,000 in June. The total figure for three months of offensive actions in the area of Chase of Yar, as well as along the entire front line in the eastern direction, is 82,000 occupiers. But there are still other directions. The number can reach 90,000, the spokesman said. As before, Volishin noted that the enemy lost up to 5,000 soldiers only during the storming of the Canal microdistrict in Chase of Yar. He said that the enemy continues active assault operations in the area, and the Russians are suffering significant losses. Ukrainian troops killed more than 100 Russian servicemen and wounded 132 more in the Chase of Yar, Toritsk area over the last day. Several pieces of equipment, ammunition depots and dugouts were destroyed. Volshin said. He said that Ukrainian drone operators had destroyed the Tulip self-propelled missile system. Over the past day, more than 250 attacks took place directly in the town of Chase of Yar. Mostly in the southern part of the city. There were no assaults on the city this day, the Russian army dropped one aerial bomb on the city. According to our information, the enemy put about 5,000 soldiers in the Chase of Yar operation to capture one or one and a half neighborhoods. The enemy is suffering significant losses, Volishin added. Earlier, Volishin said that Russia had opened a new front that was in sleep mode, it is the Toritsk direction. The enemy is trying to storm the positions of the defense forces from Holyuka in the Toritsk sector towards Kostantinivka. Что там?